Hey guys, what's up? Rajut here from VFX World. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. In this video, I'll talk about how you can do this kind of cool things inside of Nuke X by using Grid Wrap Tracker Node, which is only available on Nuke latest version 12.1. This is Nuke Fundamentals episode number 4. Without wasting any time, then let's get started. <laughs> Okay guys, uh, right now we're in Nuke updated version and this option is only available on Nuke latest version uh, which is 12.1 and this is Nuke Fundamentals episode number 4 and uh, for this we need obviously a footage so let's play the footage first. So this is our basic footage and I want to shrink his, this character's nose and this is Shah Rukh Khan as you all know, the most popular. So we want to shrink his nose. So to create this effect we need two most important nodes called first by pressing tab you can take like grid wrap tracker node and uh, in the older version you can see this called like only grid wrap or like uh, something like that but in this newer version they added like smart vector like destination and then source and something like mask and this output so this is really new and uh, we need one more uh, node called smart vector which is this one because this grid wrap tracker will work more precise by using the smart vector the result will come more accurate okay so first of all take a dot something like that connect with this and then take the source pipe to here and uh, this destiny source pipe also will connect to this so take control and click here to take another dot and connect the source pipe to here and uh, this is a very simple basic script no need to uh, like worry about like there's a high end script and also nothing like that then take a merge and obviously you have to connect the a pipe means like foreground will connect to this and the b pipe will connect to this and press this to one to view this and uh, let's arrange it a little bit something like that and last but not the least the smart vector node will connect with this one now this is the way you can use if your system is good enough you can use it from here as well but in my case or in other 90% cases like in smart vector when you're using smart vector your system maybe can be crashed so I have already created two videos based on smart vector link is in description you can go and check that all and this is just amazing video I described everything about smart vector how you can do and in fact you do you can do a lot of things by using these smart vectors okay so by pressing one you can see there is nothing is visible here so from here if you go to the smart vector fgv01 you can see there's something something it will loading and it will look something like that so this is called smart vector okay so i'm just going to this rgba again and go to this merge one now to make this thing little more uh, like not heavier what you can do you can do some things like by pressing this smart vector you can say it's called export right so if you click this export right you can actually export your smart vector data and you can import that data inside of nuke so that what happened the nuke will work more smoothly it will not hang but if your system is good enough no need to render because only the latest version of nuke smart vector is no need to render after all when you render everything when you import this it will be coming like that so this is my smart vector data so just press one and let me show you that how it will look like so this is our smart vector data you can see this is a complete smart vector data from this footage which I exported before this tutorial and uh, now I've go to the first frame now when you import this data you no need to this smart vector node so you can delete this directly and simply you can connect the smart vector pipe to this so what happened the data will now calculate from this option okay from this uh, like a grid wrap tracker node okay so now i have to go to this merge one and from here go to this rgba now what you have to do is just have to double click on this grid wrap tracker node and you can see some grids are visible here so no need to worry about i'm just make this so much simple for you guys so just click this option and draw boundary box and then just click and drag it something like this nose area no need to draw any other areas so right now what happened only the nose areas is right now selected now going forward i just want to tell you something about this node specifications like this is like node graph specification so let me tell you what is this so we have this two options like output is warp and morph but in this tutorial i'll show you only the warp part will not showing the morph part. the morph part will be releasing very soon and this is like warp amount which is always should be one this is a like background which is a black if you want to click the source 
it will come like source and this is like division grid which is this one like this is a 5 by 5 x and y so if you increase the division grid you can see the grids are expanding something like that so in my case i'm right now make it to only 5 but i will increase and this is like from and this is like 2 like from is this one and after 2 it like after warp how it will look like so this is this will come as like 2 you can add so many things in this uh, 2 area so let me tell you about this areas like this, this is ripple option like if you draw only one frame it will the animation will update to all the frames and track rigidity should be always 0 0.5 this is like track buttons and all i will come one by one later now after select this bounding box what you have to do select the from tab and turn off this two tab and you can change the color from here so that you can understand for my case i'm changing it to green now grid, this grid is right now look like as a green color so it will easy to understand like which is one is the from grid and which one is like the two grid so after that i want to increase the division rate from five to a little bit like six it's good enough and now after that before doing anything i just want to connect this pipe to my main source so let's connect to this main source and double click on this grid wrap and now what we have to do just select any point and what you have to do just just make a shape around this nose area so just simply make your shapes something like that and it's very easy to control it's not like uh, too much hard and make sure your shape should be around this nose area not like outside of this nose area and all so i'm just making this fast forward so that you can understand each and every steps properly so after when you've done this kind of shape you need to get it more precise so to add some divisions you just click this paint tool plus option and you can take divisions something like that it will more helpful for tracking when you're doing tracking the track will more accurate so i'm getting so much divisions here to make this track a little bit smoother and something like that now what i have to do you just have to adjust it a little bit more so guys right now you can see i adjusted the shape pretty much well and now the next step is to track so to, to track it you just have to click this play track button but in my case i prefer to track it manually like frame by frame so that the track data will come more accurate so just press one by one frame and you can see the tracking is started you can adjust your shape in any time by pressing the stop and just you can adjust and after when you're happy with your adjustment you can then again start tracking so guys now you can see the track is done it's looking just amazing and the track is uh, completely stick its own space now what happened the next step the next step is we have to paste this data from this grid to this grid okay so to do this you just have to click this two grid and when you turn this on you can see the two grid is still in same area it's not moving when you move this there's two grid is only on that same area so go to the first frame and click this from grid and right click and copy all keys and then click here and then right click and then you have to do this paste option so after now what happened both informations are right now same and then what you have to do you have to link this both just press this link button so now what happened this both will be link okay so now after all we have to do some cool wrapping now we don't need this from grid so we can turn off this one so we have only the two grid here so now before doing anything we have to click this two grid and we don't use this two grid directly we just have to click right and then we have to click this add adjustment grid so whatever we'll do we have have to do this via this adjustment grid this is a preferable thing from foundry as well so i'm not telling this we have to do the foundry team told us that you have to do this via adjustment grid the result will come more accurate and this is the exact right way but you can do directly this two grid but uh, whatever happened it you it can be destroyed this two grid so that's why you have to use this adjustment grid so after that zoom in and then just click and drag it something like that now don't drag too much it can be destroy your main input so drag it something like that so i want to shrink his nose so i want to shrink it from totally okay so all areas are adjusted now what you have to do you have to press this q button to turn this off now to see the result we have to click this merge option by pressing one you can go here now you can see the nose is right now getting shrink now press two to input now one is there now if you play this input you can see the entire footage is see the nose is shrinked see the nose is shrink in entire area and it looks pretty pretty well the result is also looking pretty well now to make this a little more precise we have to make this nose shape to be really good now this area is a little bit curvy this area is a little sharp so i have to adjust the shapes and all 
So by pressing adjust, just double click this grid wrap tracker node and press Q again to turn this on. Now what you have to do, you have to adjust this grid. So guys, I adjusted completely and this is the final output. This is the main image and this is the final output. You can see the nose shrinked really well and the shrinking is happening on entire frame range. Now you can do a lot of things by using this. You can smaller his eyes, bigger his eyes. You can do. Okay, so I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial and one more information I just want to tell you that yesterday I uploaded a video that I saw my subscribers are losing and uh, it's a YouTube glitch. So if you found yourself as an unsubscribed person, then please do subscribe my channel again it's a request from me and also if you really love my these videos then don't forget to hit the like button also you can dislike it as well and before leaving you have to follow us on our social media handles like facebook instagram linkedin and twitter all links are in description box below so guys i will see you in my next video till then have fun stay healthy and keep rocking vfx world